We're back to Monday, Delmarva. Happy Monday. Thanks for joining us today. We're your hosts. I'm Paige Marley. I'm Leah Rizzo. This is probably one of the longest Mondays of the year. <laughs> for many a people. For many. Yeah. If you stayed up all night to watch the game last night, they went into overtime. So okay. it was like an extended version of what we normally get. Uh, and I know that everybody's just probably dragging at this point. Definitely. <laughs> I kept telling myself, I'm only going to watch the first quarter. Mm -hmm. And I'm only going to watch the second. And then I had to watch Usher. And then yeah. it went into overtime. Yeah. So your girl's running on fumes and coffee, but we are, we're here. <laughs> we got her. She's all propped up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Leah gave me a, smacked me around a little bit. Come on. And uh, got me ready for the show. That's right. <laughs> but it was worth watching. And man, am I full of opinions after that game that you no one cares about. You are full of a lot of opinions. But honestly, I think a lot of people are. I think a lot yeah. of people, especially because the majority of the game, there really wasn't a lot to watch going on. Right. It was mostly just, uh, I mean, what, a couple field goals like there wasn't a touchdown scored until late if those kickers don't get raises for how hard <laughs> they were working, those kickers m put more work into that game i can't yeah I, can't remember. I don't think else. the niners did they score a touchdown in the first half i can't remember now i can't remember it was only yesterday <laughs> right i'm just so focused on everything not football related that went on i think because everybody had a lot of time too because again mm -hmm. things didn't get exciting until the end insanity so what should we what should we even start with should we start with travis you want to start hot <laughs> Because, man, I mean, what a letdown that man was, that boy, that little boy was. <laughs> he did act a little Trav. bit like a child in that moment if you yeah. missed it uh, and you haven't heard anybody talking about it today yet somehow. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Travis had a little moment last night where he got all up in Coach Andy Reid's face. He threw, like, took his helmet off. He was yelling at him. He bumped him. Yeah. And, I mean, Andy just Andy tanked it. <laughs> he just took it. He lost I mean, his footing but collected himself. I imagine for Andy, it's a lot like working with horses, you right. know, like you've got these big, burly, childish men and right. he's kind of just like, knock it off. But yeah, it, it was disappointing. It was super disappointing because like you said, it's like working with horses, but Travis, <laughs> you're a human man. That's right. <laughs> and I was telling you this earlier and I hope people at home understand what I'm saying because yes, like I don't want to judge one person after, after one moment, but one, Travis has had a lot of these crybaby moments. Two, it's not his job to be a role model. It's not. His job is to play football. Mm -hmm. But it's disappointing because you have so many young teenagers watching football now because of Taylor. Mm -hmm. They love Travis. They're rooting for Travis. It's been in the news forever. Everyone's tired of it, right? The Chiefs have so many new young fans. And you have little girls watching Travis act like a big crybaby and push his boss around. Yep. That's disappointing. And, and again, it's not his job to be a role model. No, but, uh, you but know, you let them down. his image is tied to her image it now, is. and it's, you know, whether he likes it or not, and mm -hmm. especially for Taylor, who's been in the public eye since yeah. she's been 15, right? something like that. I mean, she's so used to that constant mm -hmm. judgment and being held to some standard that may or may not be possible to exactly. hit. Exactly. But, like, he might not be used to that on that scale quite yet, so right. we'll, we'll see. But I, I'm curious to see if he and Jason are going to talk about it in their podcast. I know he kind they of acknowledged to. it after the game, mm -hmm. but since both of them have played for Andy, I'm a big Andy Reid fan, yeah. I would be curious to see uh, what they have to say about that. Yeah. Uh, well, I was telling you, I went into the game not really caring who won. You know, mm -hmm. I liked both sides. I've always really been a big Patrick Mahomes fan. I loved Travis. And it, it unfortunately, and I know it's probably just my emotions getting the best of me, but it was like a, a switch was flipped, mm -hmm. and I no longer want to support anything Travis Kelsey. I want to support his in-laws. I want to support <laughs> his brother. I want to support mom. his girlfriend, his mom. <laughs> but it was just a complete, I was like, done, because when you are that status, you are in the biggest football game of, uh, of the year. You have millions. Mm -hmm. Your girlfriend is Taylor, Taylor Swift. Stinkin' <laughs> Swift. You have this great family unit. You have so many fans, and you want to be a crybaby? Like, you are not the gift to football. You're really not. And so I, that's just disappointing when you have so much and you act like you can. Yeah. You can yeah. be greater than, than everybody else. Well, that is totally valid, totally fair. Yes. <laughs> Loser of the week is Travis Kelsey. Sorry, that's rude, and I will probably... Be happier about everything sure. next week. One thing that okay. wasn't disappointing last night, the halftime show. <laughs> Loved to see Usher out there. I mean, immediately from just him sitting there in that yes. chair. Swag. I was like, I'm all in. Yes. Because I, I feel like the halftime shows, they've been a little all over the place over mm -hmm. the last couple of years. Sure. I mean, the sort of... Um, the one from two years ago I, I enjoyed. And then last year's, like, Rihanna was okay. I feel like yeah. she needed more time, yeah. honestly. I think she was doing, like, a Rihanna concert. Right. And didn't realize, like, hey, you, you got ten minutes. This like, isn't about go. you, sis. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. So I feel like she didn't quite have enough time to do what she really wanted mm. to. 
Um, but I'm trying to think of like my favorite all-time shows. Do you have any that are coming to mind? I don't know. I actually think Usher's is going to be up there for me, though. I think Truth so, too. Me. I mean, it was it was extremely entertaining. Yeah. It was bright. It was colorful. Mm -hmm. It wasn't weird. Remember the weekend? That one was weird. That was so weird. <laughs> I, that, that's what I've always liked is the production aspect. This mm -hmm. is not your concert. This is yes. a production. And he put on a production. I'm not even an Usher fan. I only maybe knew two of the songs. Mm -hmm. He performed the whole I knew time. More than I thought, yeah. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> Some of them I was like, this is Usher? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I was waiting for Justin Bieber to come out all night, you know. You weren't the only one. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> he was there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how excited I was when I heard he was there? I'm like, it's I happening. Know. I know. But it's fine. <laughs> no, but um, I mean, he had the he had the special guests, right? Yes. But they didn't overpower him. He mm -hmm. had roller skating. He had the acrobatics, the Vegas showmanship. Glitter, sparkle, feathers. Yes. <laughs> so thank you, Usher, for bringing us back to that just level of production. It was much needed. Um, if you didn't like it, though, because there's a few people yeah. who said it didn't live up to expectations. I'm genuinely curious. Like, what else did you want? Let us know. I'm not like... You, your opinion's wrong. I just, I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, I've heard a couple people who have said that, you know, it wasn't for them. They were like, it's a good show, but mm -hmm. I don't really know the music. wasn't okay. really for them. And so, like, that's fair, mm -hmm. but I feel like if it's still a good show, it's a good show. Exactly. Like, you, just because you don't know or aren't familiar with the music, right. like, obviously you're not going to get into it as much. And, like, if you were more of a classic rock fan than when McCartney right. or Mick Jagger, when they did the, the halftime show... Mm -hmm. You got what you wanted, and so I feel like, I don't know, we've really run the gambit of acts. I mean, mm -hmm. we've seen, didn't Prince do a halftime show? I'm trying to remember everybody who's done one. I'm trying to remember, too. I did, like, Katy Perry's. Katy because Perry's was, but it was iconic. The production <laughs> yes. of it. Yes. So good. I did, were the Black Eyed Peas at one? Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. And I was trying to remember, because I was like, oh, Beyonce's, but I was like, it wasn't Beyonce. It was Coldplay, and Beyonce was there, and she was so oh. good, she overshadowed Coldplay. <laughs> Which is what could have happened with Usher, and I don't it think it did. It didn't. It didn't. So no, it I was, was perfect. I was very happy with that, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. So all overall, great night. Great night for football. We'll be back next year talking about right. opinions <laughs> that the players don't care about. But one thing we know that you do care about, today's episode of Coast Life that is coming your way. Here's what's coming up on the show. It's Monday, so we are keeping you laughing with another joke jar. And it's Monday, so you know, you also want to laugh, but you also need your coffee. We have a delicious way for you to enjoy your brew. And we are taking a trip to Brittingham Farms in Millsboro, not only to meet the woman and her family behind the farms, but also to meet one celebrity sheep. All that and more is heading your way when Coast Life gets back. Coast Life is sponsored by BB Healthcare, Coastal Comfort Heating and Air Conditioning, Preston Automotive Group, Shell Brothers, and the Parker Group. I have patients that honestly have become friends, and I see like how resilient they were and how well they pulled through and tried every day and privileged to be a part of their care. I'm kind of celebrating there with them. I've come across a lot of amazing people. Kathy, I tell you, she's the best. She's a sweetheart. Those efforts helped me so much, and I truly appreciate her for it. Most of it, she got me through. It's time to experience an extraordinary lineup of entertainment at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center. Enjoy performances by the Four Phantoms in concert on February 4th, Wheel of Fortune Live on February 29th, The Simon and Garfunkel Story March 18th, and The Price is Right Live on April 1st. The excitement is building, and now it's your turn to be a part of it. Secure your seats at ococean.com slash pack and join us for the most amazing season yet. Don't miss out. Come experience the magic of live performances all in one place at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center. See you there. It may be freezing outside, but it's warm and toasty at Kids Catch and Lewis. Warm up with friends and family and spark your imagination with adventure, wonder, and fun. Our fully stocked shelves await your arrival with hand-picked toys, games, books, crafts, puzzles, science kits, dress-ups, and unique clothing and newborn to size 8 too. Plus birthdays, baby gifts, and much more. Shop local at Kids Catch and Lewis and at Tidepool Toys and Games in Bethany, Fenwick, and now we're Hobbit. Take your seat for the 8th Annual Ocean City Film Festival, March 7th through 10th. Enjoy 100 independent films and meet the people who made them. We're welcoming the legendary John Waters, live on stage with his Hairspray movie at the Ocean City Performing Arts Center on March 9th. Tickets start at just $59. Come on down and stay in an oceanfront hotel room starting at only $89 per night. Discover how to fest and get your passes at ocndfilmfestival.com. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your workday. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. 
The easiest way to get through your workday is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Well, when you guys think of first responders, police, maybe mm -hmm. you think of, I know me, time I got pulled over, or, ah. you know, <laughs> patrol, things like that, or you see them at events in yes. the area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I said the time, I mean the times, but anyways, <laughs> uh, there's a lot more that they that they do and that they're getting trained for. It's, it's kind of stuff, honestly, I don't really understand all too well, Leah. Uh, honestly, me neither. Perfect. That's okay, <laughs> though, because we have the experts in here. We are introducing you to Grace Rupert. Grace, today you're telling us about CERT. Yes, CERT. So excited for this. So CERT. CERT, I never heard of it before today. Can you just kind of jump right in? What is that? Yeah, so first of all, CERT is an acronym. It stands for Community Emergency Response Team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's actually a national program. It was started out in California, I believe in the 80s. And the idea behind it is kind of, you're the help until help arrives. Wow. So mm -hmm. if something you know awful happens, nine times out of 10, there's a civilian there calling 911, mm -hmm. staying with the person before the first responders get there. So that's the idea behind it, is training members of the community to be more aware and to be trained up in those situations so they can be helpful. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, the program uh, began out in California, but it has been adopted by FEMA, which is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Mm -hmm. And now the program is offered nationwide. It's in all 50 states, wow. which is awesome. And yeah, it's just a really great way to train community members uh, to be ready to be helpful and respond to those things. That's yeah. so important. I like what you said. They're the help until the help arrives. Yes, so, you right. know, maybe you've been in that situation before where you're with someone when they're calling 911. Mm -hmm. So there's this training coming up. How can people get involved if this is something they're interested in? Yeah, so this training um, is awesome. You have to be 16 mm -hmm. to join. So for some younger people who maybe want some experience, some things to put on their resume, yeah. it's great. Also for other people, I know in this area we have a lot of retired people. Mm -hmm. If you're mm -hmm. retired and you have the time to give, um, it's also something great for you to be involved in. It's about an eight week class. We meet once a week for two to three hours. The first beginning, the first half of the class, um, is, you know, PowerPoint, we try to keep it light, <laughs> no death by PowerPoint. <laughs> and then after that, we usually do a practical hands-on exercise. Mm. So some topics we explore, um, fire, light search and rescue, mm. disaster psychology, keeping your mental health in check, mm -hmm. and we talk about a really diverse range of subjects. That yeah. is a lot, because I was asking before we got started, like, what kind of emergencies does this prepare you for? You know, Ocean mm -hmm. City, I'm like, maybe, you know, weather related. Really? Flooding. Flooding. <laughs> Flooding. Right. Flooding. Okay. Right, yeah, so it, each unit covers a different type of hazard mm -hmm. or disaster. Okay. Yeah, so um, we usually start off with fire. We talk about, um, you know, different ways to prepare your home and your neighbors and things like that. And then we also talk about being storm ready, living in the area we live in, mm -hmm. being prepared for hurricanes, mm -hmm. all of those things. Light search and rescue, like mm -hmm. I said, for us, our most likely hazard in that situation would probably be a child lost on the beach, mm -hmm. like things sure. like that. Oh, that um, so yeah, we cover a really broad range of topics. We also do medical, stop the bleed, first aid. We um, certify our team in CPR. So they kind of get a jack of all trades, a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's wow, awesome. I mean, that's I know incredible. we've uh, talked about the CPR programs out mm -hmm. there, and I mean, it really is sort of the, like you said, you're, you're sort of the first first responder out there. Yeah. It can really be the, the difference as to whether or not someone walks away from an yeah. event like that. Definitely. Have you ever driven around Ocean City and seen, I always thought this as a kid, it says um, like the emergency evacuation routes or something, yeah. and it's the signs, and I'm like, wait, I feel like someone should tell me that before I come in. Right, yeah. How am I going to find How do I signs? get out? Yeah, yeah, and then you're like, what am I going to do if something does happen? So yeah. this would probably give people peace of mind. Um, so how can people sign up uh, let's, if people want to you know, join right yes, now probably? Yes. So if they go on Ocean City's mm -hmm. town website, um, CERT has a page mm -hmm. under the Ocean City Department of Emergency Services. You can sign up via our website. Perfect. It'll shoot your name to me and then you'll get more information. We have a class starting this March. Um, and then we will have some others coming up, hopefully in the fall and the following spring. Good Perfect. to know. Yeah. Great. Well, Grace, thank you so much. And thank you to that town of Ocean City, yes. too. What a great yeah. thing that they're doing it's awesome. to keep our town safe. Hopefully we see this expand as well. Mm -hmm. All right, Grace, thank thanks you. again. Thank you for uh, having of me. Of course, anytime. Come back anytime you'd like. Uh, right now, though, we have some coffee tips coming your way. That's right. So <laughs> excited for this. A new fun way to make your coffee when we get back.
On Coast TV News at 5, Lewis City Council could vote on whether dogs should be banned from the farmer's market. And a record number of visitors at Milford's Food Bank highlights the growing issue of food insecurity. Coming up on Coast TV News at 5. I had major ankle surgery and was wheelchair bound for four months. My doctor recommended Peninsula Home Care for physical and occupational therapy in my home, and I'm glad they did. I'm doing what I love, staying active with my children and grandchild and working at the Max Center. I am so very thankful for Peninsula Home Care. Going above and beyond in Maryland and Delaware. Call Peninsula Home Care today. Simplify your kitchen with a pull-out trash can, organized spice rack, or sliding shelves. At Paul Davis, we designed your kitchen to work with your life. And Paul Davis won't tear out your kitchen, so you don't have to worry about months of disruption. And you'll save money. Instead, let us reface your kitchen cabinets in the latest style and color in just three days. Right now, Paul Davis is offering free installation with no money down, no payments, and no interest for 12 months. Call Paul Davis for a free estimate. We'll come see you as soon as tomorrow or visit our new showroom in Salisbury. 16 years ago, we founded Community Bank Delaware with the goal of providing high-quality banking services to our local community. Here you meet with decision makers, people just like you who live in and love this community. We provide the newest banking technologies to our customers, supported by our local team of banking professionals. Our bank serves clients throughout Sussex County, and we continue to grow, all thanks to you. Community Bank Delaware, where community matters. The game you know and love, Deal or No Deal, is back. But this time, it's Deal or No Deal Island. Hidden throughout this island are cases worth millions of dollars. They don't bite ah! that hard. Let's go! You can trust me. Keep your friends close. Enemies closer. People are going to throw their friends under the bus. Deal or No Deal. Deal or No Deal Island, February 26th on NBC and Peacock. Look at my shoe. They're scuffed. I look like a school administrator. Tell me what you got. Oh, it's real now. Ah. Mind if I take my dress off? I do not. I am a human chill pill. As someone who took chill pills in the 80s, you need a new dealer. Tell me what you got. Didn't you always say we should be honest about who we are? Within the family, yes. But to outsiders, it's a lifetime of deception. Night Court and Extended Family, Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. This segment of Coast Life is sponsored by Coffee Rendezvous. Coast Life, maybe today was a little bit rough for you. It was a Monday, maybe you stayed up late watching the game last night, mm -hmm. and you might need even a 4 p.m. coffee pick-me-up. I do. <laughs> well, good thing we've got Wanda Guyton, owner of Coffee Rendezvous, joining us on the Coast Life <laughs> couch today. Welcome back, Wanda. Yes, yes, it was rough yesterday, right? <laughs> I think a lot of people <laughs> still having trouble waking up today. Exactly. <laughs> we don't blame them. Exactly. <laughs> well, Wanda, uh, you've shared many a coffee tip with us, yep. how to brew different types of coffee, mm -hmm. uh, how to even whip certain creams. I yep. mean, you have, you've really upgraded our coffee-making yes. game at home, and uh, you've brought with you yet another way to do just that exactly all right show us what we got yep this may not be the the morning for sure this, but, <laughs> but it, it is a different way mm -hmm. to make your coffee okay. yes right so today we're going to be talking about the chemics perfect all right so the chemics is another word for a pour over Ah, right. Oh, so, okay. so if people have gone into um, different you know, coffee shops, coffee shops, mm -hmm. right, and the barista says, "I can give you a pour over," the chemix is what they're going to use. This is what they mean. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. So yep. we could even do this at home too. Exactly. All yep. right. So what brew? Uh, uh, what roast did you bring with you? Bethany. Yay! Ooh, Bethany yeah. Beach. <laughs> Blueberries, cream, Yum. and cobbler. Oh, I Ooh, love yes. this one. And, and you know what? So it's crazy because a lot of men buy the blueberry coffee. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't explain it, mm -hmm. but so many men. They, they want a little sweetness in their they coffee. Love the they say coffee. bitter, but that's yeah. not what they want. I, I, <laughs> I get it. Maybe they don't want cream in their coffee, but they mm -hmm. still want a little touch of something. I don't know. Perfect. They, yes. I sell. Blueberry, Bethany Beach, 
to more men than I do anybody. Oh, there so, you go. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're, we're not here to talk about Bethany <laughs> Beach, right? We're talking about the chemics. Yes. All right. so, so how do we do this? Really simple. You're going to take your coffee grounds, mm -hmm. right? And... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and you're going to just take the coffee grounds and pour and scoop. And then all you do is take hot water. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to pour it slowly. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Oh, there it goes. And then how much water do you add? Does that also just kind of mm -hmm. feel it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. You, I mean, you... How, however much you're making. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that smell. I know. Oh, my... It Can smells... Smell like, it? Yeah, it smells mm -hmm. like you're using a coffee... Smells a like a coffee shop. coffee maker, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it still gives you that, that nice aroma. Mm. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. And it feels so fancy. It does. You know? You feel like your own, own at-home barista. It does. This is so fun. <laughs> and so, so you, yeah, you sell these, right? So people can make yes, this too. Yes. Wow. That's awesome. Well, let's talk about all the things you sell while yes. uh, the Chemex is brewing here because <laughs> you also just opened a shop in the outlets. I did. Uh, not that long ago. So with Valentine's Day right around the corner, exactly. maybe your sweetheart loves coffee. You can supply them with some gifts, right? Yep. Yeah. What a great idea. A Chemex, mocha pots, mm -hmm. all brewers, kinds of stuff. All kinds of things. Mm -hmm. All yeah. your coffee accessories, Wanda yeah. has you covered at Coffee Ronde Brew. And Coffee so Ronde Brew in the outlet, Surfside. Surfside. Remember, because there's three outlets, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So I'm in the Surfside mm -hmm. outlet, mm -hmm. Tanger Outlets. Yep. Right? And you can come in, uh, you can sample coffee. That's right. Oh, wow. and, 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 and that's the beauty of it. People always see our sign and say, oh, you sell coffee. We let you sample mm -hmm. all the coffee Amazing. you want to your heart is content. Yeah, right? oh, you don't want to buy coffee blindly and then you get home and you're like, oh, I don't like this one. So exactly. at Coffee Ronde Brew, you can try it out. Well, Rhonda, thank you as thank always you. for coming so in, sharing some new coffee tips because we know that we could use uh, simple, easy brewing <laughs> tips. Yes, <laughs> always. The two of us. Uh, and don't forget, you can do any shopping that you need. Coffee Ronde Brew, Surfside Outlets. Wanda, thanks again for coming. Coming up next you. though, don't go anywhere. We've got some laughs for you with our joke jar. This particular house, the Parker Group found it for us and uh, it, just, it just fit perfectly. They always had solutions. You'd call with a problem and they'd address it immediately. They're accessible. I mean, I think that's not, probably about the best way to put it. They're constantly getting back to us and letting you know, we have it, we're working on it, and we'll get back to you. So between emails and docu signs, we were able to do everything remotely, and we could have even closed remotely. So they really showed us exactly what we were looking for. Persino Wells and Woodland specializes in estate planning and elder law. It's the only thing we do. We help Delaware families create estate plans that work because to us, a true estate plan is much more than documents. I'm Michelle Persino Wells. And I'm Amber Woodland. Estate planning helps families protect their assets from the cost of long-term care, provide for their loved ones, and simplify the tasks to be completed after their deaths. We help families plan today to protect their families tomorrow. Hey, bath guy, do you do roofs? Nope. Do you do lawns? Negatory. Do you do windows and siding? Not a chance. At Peninsula Bath, we're your local pros for bathroom remodeling, and that's it. Top quality, customer focus, and competitively priced. Ask about our free shower door upgrade and our neediest bathroom contest. Hey, Dad, can you take out the trash? No, son, not a chance. Peninsula Bath.
your senses at the Spice and Tea Exchange in Rehoboth Beach. Food lovers, home chefs, and tea enthusiasts rejoice. Smell and sample your way through hundreds of exotic spices and teas from around the world. Our signature blends and rubs are hand-mixed daily to ensure the highest quality and freshness. Talk to our tea experts and learn the wellness benefits of drinking fresh, loose-leaf premium teas. Find a tasteful gift for that special someone or join us for an in-store cooking demo. Find your way to flavor at the Spice and Tea Exchange on the Avenue in Rehoboth Beach. Sister locations in Annapolis, Maryland and Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. Coast Life, it's Monday, and after that caffeine pick-me-up you just had to get you through this very long Monday, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're here with the emotional pick-me-up with our joke jar, sponsored by our friends at Kids Catch. Mm -hmm. So when we're done with you here, maybe you're not done with all the fun just yet, you want to pick up some games, some fun, some toys, they got you covered yes. at Kids Catch. They're the best. But uh, for now, we're going to get into some of our cheesiest, worst, most cringeworthy jokes. <laughs> Let's get into it. This segment of Coast Life is sponsored by Kids Catch. All right, Grace, so your first time part of the joke jar, welcome. Yes, thank you. Of course, let's see if you can guess what these answers are. What board game does the sky love to play? What board game does the sky love to play? I would not have guessed this one. Shoots and ladders? <laughs> Great cool. That was going to be my guess, too. Really? Yes. Yes. Great <laughs> mind. What goes <laughs> up? Great That's what mind. I was thinking. <laughs> so this is more, I think, what weather is. Weather. In the sky. Okay, okay. It loves Twister. Oh, oh, that's a good one. I like that's perfect for me because oh, I do with true. weather. That's a very really good point. Okay. All right. Wanda, why did the peanut get into a rocket? Why did the peanut get into a rocket? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Does a nut rocket? <laughs> <laughs> a nut rock? He wanted to be an astronaut. Ow! <laughs> I like Wanda's answer better. I like Wanda's too. Oh my That's goodness. good. How did Benjamin Franklin feel holding his kite when he discovered electricity? It's probably bad, right? <laughs> Shocked. Shocked. Some might say. Shocked. <laughs> Your answer was probably accurate, right? <laughs> yeah, it probably didn't feel very good. <laughs> Where does a snowman get the weather report? Where does the snowman get the weather mm -hmm. report? I guess he doesn't watch Coast TV. Darn. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I'll just tell you. Yeah. It's from the Winternet. Uh, I don't like that one. Nah, that, that one was lame. Where did the music teacher leave her keys? I don't get this one actually. So I don't. I don't know. Off in her in her piano. Ah, uh, piano keys. Oh, piano oh, keys. Yeah. Piano keys. <laughs> Look, guys. I'm <laughs> whatever. Last night was a long night. All right, we're still in uh, weather mode here. What's okay. the weatherman's favorite food in winter? Mm, the the weatherman's favorite food. In winter. So specific. <laughs> it is specific. Burritos. <laughs> <laughs> How much did the man sell his dead batteries for? His dead batteries? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nothing. They Nothing. were free of charge. That's a bad <laughs> one. <laughs> These are awful. That was so bad, it was funny. What, oh gosh. What did one math book say to the other? It's kind of sad. Huh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what did one math book say to the other? Mm -hmm. I've got so many problems. Uh oh. Aww. Aww. Sad. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, love our joke jar. We uh, tormented some of our guests, our friends, uh, after their interviews. Mm -hmm. We wrapped them up. We were like, wait, 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 before you go, yes. stick around. We want to give you a bad joke. Uh, so don't forget, if you've got some bad jokes too, uh, you can read them to us, send yeah. them to us, film them. We want to hear from you. Yes. Um, you can always write us some bad jokes as well. Wanda would appreciate it. I don't think she loved <laughs> those she jokes. <laughs> but yes, that was a lot of fun. It was, it yes. was. But uh, uh, that's all, of course, sponsored by our friends at Kids Catch. Mm -hmm. So again, if you want to pick up some games, some fun, some toys. Yes. Dress up stuff, they got you. They do, they got you covered. Yeah. And we know. have more fun. Oh, yeah. sorry, continue. No. I was gonna say, like, spring break is on the way. Yeah. Hard to Ooh. think about. Games with your friends at any age is fun. Don't Always fun. That. All right, hey, more coming your way, a lot more fun coming up. Uh, there's a new episode of a show that maybe you missed out on. You might need to catch up. You might need to catch up. We're gonna help you catch up and help you get ready for the new episode that's coming up in just a minute. The final round is here. I didn't like is you are not a 
on Howie's Dream Team. <laughs> AGT Fantasy League, tonight on NBC and Peacock. The man who killed 13 people and burned half my body is on the loose. You think he was going to try to bomb the FBI? This all ends here. This is all one big bluff. The Irrational, tonight on NBC and Peacock. Your dirty vents may be telling you something. Pounds of dirt, dust, and contaminants are trapped in your air ducts. That's why you need a professional air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer. We've been cleaning air ducts the right way for over 25 years. Our NADCA certified technicians and powerful equipment clean your entire system, extracting the dirt into our trucks, removing it from your home completely. For better indoor air quality and improved HVAC efficiency, call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. But when I decided to have my kitchen done, I knew I wanted it done professionally. And that's when I contacted Ellen. She took me to the Delmarva Design Center. From the moment I bring a customer into Delmarva Design Center, the ideas start to flow. First thing we do is take a stroll around the showroom so we can look at all the different vignettes to get ideas of what they like and see what they react to. For each of the different aspects that I wanted to change in my kitchen, there were experts here and everyone was so helpful. They listened to what I had to say, and they had great ideas that helped me put together exactly what I wanted for my kitchen. My goal is to have the customer enjoy their space as quickly as possible, and Del Marva Design Center helps me do that. My kitchen is one of my favorite places now. It's something that I use every single day of my life. I'm elated with my experience at the Del Marva Design Center. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Let the steam rise like the majestic Mount Fuji. Unveiling a new ramen restaurant in Salisbury. The Fuji Ramen House is an adventure with each tantalizing bite. Enjoy your experience in a cozy Japanese-themed setting and indulge in mouth-watering appetizers, rice bowls, curry, and of course, our ramen. Handcrafted noodles simmering in a delicious broth with your choice of toppings. Elevate your taste to new heights and savor the umami flavors of authentic ramen at Fuji Ramen House, located behind East Moon. Sometimes life can be a bit out of focus. So at Wink Vision Center, we have next day eye exams available so you can see clearly as soon as possible. Shop our vast selection of designer frames from Vera Wang, Tiffany, Maui Jim, and Under Armour. Already have a prescription? Bring it to us. Wink puts life in better focus from improving vision to designer frames and quality customer service. The choice is clear. Wink Vision, Ocean City and Cambridge. Leah, does this ever happen to you? You see a preview for a show or a movie and you're like, yes, that's my thing, I'm gonna watch it. Yes. And you just kind of forget, and then you're like, oh, it's too late in the season. Mm, yes, <laughs> that has also happened to me, yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it has, <laughs> has happened to you, maybe with The Irrational, you've probably seen it on NBC. Mm -hmm. That's okay, the good news is they're, they're in this season right now that kind of took a pause. Yes. But it is a new episode tonight on Coast TV, and maybe if you forget or you missed the first half of The Irrational, you don't have time to catch up, don't worry. We have you getting caught up right now. Check this out. Let's say you got distracted and somehow missed the first half of my show, The Irrational, on NBC. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. It's cool. Now, allow me to get you up to speed on everything you need to know to jump in for the rest of the season. The Irrational stars me, Jesse L. Martin, as Alec Mercer an expert on human behavior and psychology. Alex's day job is a college professor. I'm Alec Mercer, welcome to Applied Psychology. But he also helps out law enforcement, including the FBI, on solving some of their toughest cases. How did you know he wasn't gonna pull the trigger? It works about 95% of the time. Did I mention Alex's ex-wife is an FBI agent? And well, that's kind of a tough case too. That ability that you have is both why I married you and why- You're no longer married to me. So basically, Alec is the guy you call when no answer makes sense. I need your help solving a murder. Oh yeah? Whose murder? Mine. He lives in the world of trying to make sense of the irrational, and if we're being honest, he's pretty good at it. For instance, when he proved a guy was innocent of murder, even when the guy confessed to the crime. The gun just went off. What kind of gun? I blacked out. A former Marine couldn't remember what kind of gun he fired. Doesn't add up. Or when he figured out why a commercial plane went down even though the pilot did everything right. I know things about people. The FBI, I tell them 
why people do inexplicable things. Alec has a ton of tools up his sleeve to tackle all the ways people can be irrational. Like when he used a concept called absurdism to convince a kidnapper to let go of a young woman they were holding hostage. I'd have gotten here sooner, but you know, there was so much snow. It's not snowing. What is he doing? Saying weird things to force Trey to correct him and ground himself in reality. Oh, and then there's this one unsolved case that Alec just can't let go. A mystery from his past that left him with permanent burn scars. If you're wondering about what happened to my face, it wasn't one of my experiments. For that one, you'll have to watch the rest of the season with me. So now, you're caught up. Don't forget this time, check out all new episodes of The Irrational on NBC and Peacock. Absolutely amazing. So much fun. I love when it's a mix of like crime, psychological thrillers. Yes. Maybe a little romance. bit of everything for everyone. Yes, yeah. exactly. So I have to check this out tonight. Um, it's at 10 o'clock tonight on mm -hmm. Coast TV. It goes right into Coast TV News at 11. That's so right. Get your irrational fix, get your news fix, and then maybe go to bed. And right now, though, get ready to meet Charlie the Lamb. We are taking a trip to Brittingham Farms when Coast Life gets back. Finding a primary care that fits your needs can be challenging. At Delmarva Acupuncture, we offer patient-focused primary care that puts you first. We'll sit down with you and conduct a comprehensive exam where we'll identify any issues you're dealing with and talk you through a treatment plan so you can make the best health choices for your well-being. Offering same and next day appointments and direct access to our practitioner. Call now and schedule your primary care visit as soon as tomorrow at Delmarva Acupuncture and Wellness Center. Get amazing truck deals at Preston Ford's President's Day sales event. Get presidential savings on over 600 new Ford vehicles in inventory. Get 1.9% APR financing for 72 months on Ford's best-selling truck, the Ford F-150. Every gas-powered vehicle comes with the Preston for Life engine guarantee. View our entire selection of F-150s online at PrestonFord.com. Get the truck of your dreams at the President's Day sales event going on right now at Preston Ford. Remember, cars cost less in Preston. It's always a beautiful day for learning at Shells. With our summer program that keeps your child physically and mentally active when they're out of school. Through captivating activities and insightful guest speakers, they will expand their knowledge in a fun and interactive way, including educational, hands-on field trips that'll keep your child entertained. Make every summer day memorable with Shell's Early Learning Center. Register now and secure your spot in Shell's summer program before the spots are gone. Shell's, preparing our future generation. Every visit is an adventure at Browse About Books in Rehoboth Beach. Search our hand-picked book collection and find something in every genre. From bestsellers to some of our staff picks, you'll uncover a new adventure every time. After you've browsed our extensive book selection, explore our gift shop, where you'll find an exciting array of toys, gifts, Rehoboth-themed items, and home decor. Browse About Books on Rehoboth Avenue, a fun, friendly place to shop for books and so much more. Oh, you can do that for me? Stop hogging the new bathroom! I'm on the phone! Who are you on the phone with? Alex from Peninsula <laughs> Bath! What are you wearing, Alex from Peninsula Bath? Uh, khakis? And, with that second bathroom, we'll give you an additional 10% off. Mercy! That's a great deal, Alex from Peninsula Bath. Call now to lock in your 10% discount off your second bath remodel. Thank you, Peninsula Bath. Lavender and lambs. Interesting. An interesting combination, but one that's gonna make a little bit more sense after we introduce you to Laura Brittingham and Charlie the Lamb at Brittingham Farms in Millsboro. Coastal Delmarva is full of family owned and operated hidden gems that take you back to simpler community oriented times. Brittingham Farms in Millsboro is one such gem. For Laura Brittingham and her family, Brittingham Farms combines their passion for farming, sustainability, and Sussex County, and they're excited to share those passions with the public. My husband and I are the fourth generation to care for Brittingham Farms. Um, it's been in my husband's family for almost 100 years. We're just a couple years shy of earning that Century Farm Award. Um, but we are proud to say that we're the fourth generation to till the land and take care of the farm, but we're the first generation to open it up to the public and try something 
new. Uh, we did just open a farm store on the property about a year and a half ago. We started adding a large field of lavender about three years ago. And so we now have a full field of 3,200 plants of lavender. We have a lavender distillery, and we also do shepherd a flock of heritage breed, Lester Longwell sheep, Charlie being one of them. And um, they have a wonderful story, a wonderful history. A story in history that brought these special sheep to Delmarva along with our founding fathers. They uh, were actually brought here to early America by George Washington and we just absolutely adore the fact that they were you know really significant in the start of the early years of our country. Um, we partner with Lewis Historical Society on several things because of this partnership um, with the heritage breeds that we have. But one sheep in particular is so special that he scored a slot on Victoria Magazine. Charlie um, is very special to us on the farm. He has become quite the farm mascot for us. His story kind of started um, on day two. So his mommy is one of my matriarch sheep. She's an amazing mother and she had triplet rams and triplet rams is a lot to take care of you know even you know as a as a as a mom myself I can't even imagine it, triplet boys. So she had triplet rams and Charlie was the smallest of the three and did get laid on in the pen. Three is a lot for one of my ewes to nurse. And so I pulled him in the house with me. He got a bottle from me. And so he's two years old now. I'm pretty sure he thinks he's a golden retriever. Um, he loves nonstop, constant attention. And, um, and he will let you know if you're not giving him enough attention. <laughs> I reached out to um, Jenny Bohannon from Tallwood Country House. Um, she's an influencer from Northern Virginia on Instagram. And I told her all about the history of the Lester Longwells. And we just kept in communication. Um, we tried to go meet with her last Easter um, and it didn't work out. So she, she asked us to come over at Christmas. And so Charlie and several of the ewes, we, we put them in the trailer, hauled them over to Northern Virginia and they played on her porch for the afternoon and and the Victoria magazine uh, staff got some wonderful photos of Charlie and some of the girls and he was featured in the December issue of Victoria magazine. As Laura mentioned, Brittingham Farms, in addition to being known for their sheep, is also known for their lavender and the country store isn't the only place where the two go together. So lavender is a very deer resistant crop. Um, deer avoid it and sheep are the same way and so I can have my flock of sheep grazing our beautiful lavender field. They don't hurt the lavender. They don't eat it. They don't pick it. Um, but they do a wonderful job of grazing all of our beautiful walking rows that are meant for picnics and things. And so they pair together nicely in the field. They also pair together nicely in the home. So we make dryer balls from their fleeces. We distill our own lavender essential oil. And so the two of those products are fantastic in eliminating all the chemicals out of your dryer um, by removing the, the dryer sheets. And so they pair together nicely in the home. In the kitchen too, we do have about a quarter of the lavender planted outside is meant for culinary uses. About 75% of the lavender we planted in the field is meant for distillation. But when we put lavender, culinary lavender on meats, it's absolutely fantastic. So whether you're having um, fillets like the Gaylord National in Washington DC paired with us and Barrier Island sea salt. So our lavender sea salt is used as all of the finishing salt on all of the fillets. So whether you're talking about beef, chicken, fish, lamb, culinary lavender, especially the Provence variety is fantastic. And you can celebrate both lavender and lambs this summer with their upcoming festival. Last year, we had our first lavender festival. We called it the Lavender and Lambs Festival. We partnered with the Lewis Historical Society on that. Um, we had some reenactors here in costume, dyeing some of our fleeces with um, the all natural ways that it would have been done in early America. Um, we had the Spinners Guild here making yarn on the porch. We had 30 vendors. We hosted 700 guests last year. Uh, we were very excited with that wonderful turnout. 
turn out for a first year festival. And that will be happening again this uh, June. It will be the Saturday of Father's Day weekend, June 15th. So we encourage everyone to come out to the Lavender and Lambs Festival this year. Um, we also hosted a wonderful farm to table dinner last year with a chef from the Boston area. Um, he cooked the whole meal over fire. It was a very, um, inclusive dinner, um, open to the public, ticketed event. We do want to host, uh, we have planned two dinners this summer, so keep an eye out on our social media for additional events. The love the Brittingham family has for sustainability and education can be seen with their on-site distillery, which we'll explore a little more on the way. Paige, how sweet is Charlie? I think I need a Charlie to take home with me. I know, <laughs> well, you can always come visit Charlie at Brittingham Farms, but Charlie, we have some more coast life to get to. Aren't you excited? He's thrilled. <laughs> We're gonna learn a little bit more about what you can find here at Brittingham Farms and Coast Life Gets Back. On Coast TV News at 5, Lewis City Council could vote on whether dogs should be banned from the farmer's market. And a record number of visitors at Milford's Food Bank highlights the growing issue of food insecurity coming up on Coast TV News at 5. is always open. Run to Vernon Powell for the top running brands like Hoka, Brooks, and New Balance, plus expert advice and that Vernon Powell fit. Vernon Powell in Salisbury and Rehoboth Beach. Homeowners frequently face unexpected heating and air conditioning expenses at the most inconvenient times. For a limited time, Coastal Comfort is offering a worry-free 10-year guarantee on select systems for as low as $199 a month. Customers will also receive 10 years of parts, 10 years of labor, and 10 years of maintenance, but only with Coastal Comfort. Discover peace of mind with Coastal Comfort. Keeping your home comfortable and hassle-free for years to come. Coastal Comfort, a carrier, factory, authorized dealer. Carrier, turn to the experts. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. Vision loss can be gradual and your elderly loved ones might not realize how compromised their vision has become. There are some simple ways you can help. Clear all pathways in their home to prevent accidents. Label items with bright colors and make sure those items stay in a designated place. When you need help, consult with a professional in-home care provider. Homo Care Services can set up a safety plan, assist with running errands and other tasks that might be difficult for them. To learn more about Homo Care Services, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. It's Vernon Powell's Winter Clearance. Save up to 50% off shoes and boots, up to half off apparel and handbags. Winter Clearance markdowns throughout the store on over 200 brands. Don't miss the Winter Clearance event at Vernon Powell, happening now in Salisbury and Rehoboth Beach. You're watching Coast Life and Paige, we know that Coastal Delmarva and Sussex County especially has a lot of focus on agriculture, but one of our favorite things that we've learned here at Brittingham Farms is how sustainable a lot of that agriculture is. So we are going to dive into that with Laura Brittingham now. Laura Brittingham and her husband are the fourth generation to till the land at Brittingham Farms in Millsboro. With a focus on education and sustainability, a big part of their operation is the on-site distillery that allows them to create their own lavender products right there on the farm. Coming from that farmer's perspective, we think in terms of acres, right? And we think about our sellable crop at the end. And so with lavender, one of the things that helps us stay kind of large scale, high volume, is the distilling aspect of it. And, and this is such an amazing 
experience. So in the summertime, families are welcome to come to the farm store. We do offer tours of the distillery. So you can come out, you can watch us distill. We'll tell you all about how the process. Um, we'll show you the products that we end up with at the end. But this is um, very unique in the fact that we chose copper. Um, both of my stills are seven foot tall. They're both 150 liters a piece. Um, they were handmade in Portugal for us. So this copper distillation method is kind of the gold standard in distillation. Um, copper will naturally pull any impurities out of the plant material. So it's a completely clean, beautiful process. So how do they work? Both of these stills were handmade in Portugal for us. They're both 150 liters. The way that the stills work is that there's a propane burner hidden on the opposite side of the table with uh, these, this brick wall around it. So we will fit about maybe 40 gallons of water in the base. As that starts to boil, that, that hot steam will infuse the plant material in the column. During the height of the season with fresh plant material, we can fit almost about 100 pounds in that column of, of lavender, which is amazing. So as that hot steam infuses the lavender, that hot lavender steam travels down the gooseneck into that condenser unit. In the condenser, there's cold water flushing through constantly. About 350 gallons of water gets flushed through each of these stills during the eight hour distilling day. And so we have the recycled tanks in the back. So we are actually a closed unit in terms of water usage so that we're not wasting, um, we could essentially um, empty our well in a summer's worth of distilling. So those recycle tanks in the back keep us from wasting water. Um, we can use the same water over and over, which is fantastic. And then on the back side, the, the water and the lavender essential oil drip out in the separatory funnel, and then we start bottling. If you're looking for some chemical-free alternatives for keeping your house, bed, clothes, or even your skin fresh, the natural lavender products at Brittingham Farms will be perfect additions to your home. Both hydrosol and essential oil are used very frequently here in the States. I believe that they're honestly used a lot more over in Europe, especially the hydrosol. Um, Europeans use hydrosol for really almost everything. It has so many wonderful properties and so many uses of just this one particular product um, by itself. So this would be, you know, our lavender hydrosol would end up being your pillow spray, linen spray, facial toner. It has one wonderful properties that keep bugs away. Um, it can use um, as a cleaning agent. So really lots and lots of different purposes for a lavender hydrosol. So like this size I would keep in my vehicle, the bigger size I would keep by the bed. Um, our children love spraying the bed with the hydrosol before bedtime. It helps everyone sleep a little bit better. Um, you know, lavender is known to help you relax and calm down. Um, but there's also a lot of really good health benefits too. So, and then and in terms of the essential oil, we can pair this in our diffusers. Um, that's probably the most popular use of the lavender essential oil. Um, we can also put it on top of our dryer balls. It really eliminates all the chemicals out of the dryer sheets, so we don't need to use the dryer sheets anymore. Um, and I think, you know, lastly, making products. And so it, as, a, as a farmer, as a, as a business owner, one of the things that was really important to me in starting this lavender business was not only to make our own products, but really use our own ingredients. Um, you know, we're not buying ingredients online and stirring the bowl. We're really, we're distilling it ourselves. And that's something I think that is unique to our area um, that we're really proud of. Not only is the lavender at Brittingham Farms included in products for your home, it's also beautiful as decor and even works as a great backdrop for your perfect selfie. So this year was the very first year that I had harvesting help. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Adrian Mobilia of Salted Vines, shared some of his uh, harvesting help with me. It was the first time I had ever had harvest help, which was amazing. And they were literally cutting and bringing it in faster than I could even hang. Um, this barn is the drying room for anything that's going to be distilled. We have a drying room above, above the store for all the culinary. And so we literally just ran out of room and we ran to tractor supply quickly and put up as much uh, chicken wire as we could and 
there we have it. We have a selfie wall of dried lavender. <laughs> so it was a it was a lucky accident because we ran out of room. We had too much lavender. We know there are still a few more weeks of winter. So until then, we'll be dreaming of spring thanks to the relaxing lavender products from Brittingham Farms. Paige, are you in love with Brittingham Farms yet? I definitely am. The first thing I said when we got here, Leah, is this would be a beautiful wedding venue. Well, guess what? They will host weddings here yes. and all kinds of events. And again, there, there's lots of events to keep your eyes out yes. for as well. So BrittinghamFarms.com, that's where you want to go in case you want to inquire about a wedding mm -hmm. or you need more details on any of the events yeah. that are going to be coming up here in the future. So definitely get ready. And we know we're going to be back in the spring. Oh, girls <laughs> shopping trip, definitely on the books. <laughs> but for now, we know that you're going to want to see more Coast Life. So don't go anywhere. Have you or someone you love experienced crawl space neglect? Has your crawl space been exposed to damaging moisture? Call the Dry Tech hotline now to speak with someone who understands the problem. We've helped thousands of crawl spaces across Delmarva get the result they deserve. Let our team mitigate the muddy waters for you, seek damages, and make it right. And you don't pay a dime until we solve your crawl space problem guaranteed. Call 410-543-4848 or visit ncrawlspaceneglect.com. Remember, if you have a phone, you can call Dry Tech. Vision loss can be gradual and your elderly loved ones might not realize how compromised their vision has become. There are some simple ways you can help. Clear all pathways in their home to prevent accidents. Label items with bright colors and make sure those items stay in a designated place. When you need help, consult with a professional in-home care provider. Homo Care Services can set up a safety plan, assist with running errands and other tasks that might be difficult for them. To learn more about Homo Care Services, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Immerse yourself in experience Lord's Mercantile in our award-winning garden center. Venture our five acres and find a wide variety of plants and much more. For 45 years, our sales team has helped our customers find exactly what they want. While you're here, visit Lord's Mercantile next door. We carry a wide variety of gifts, home decor, treats, and more. From trendy to classic, we have something for everyone. Check us out online and on social media. Shop and sign up for the Lord's Loyalty Program and join our Lord's family today. Spark your senses at the Spice and Tea Exchange in Rehoboth Beach. Food lovers, home chefs, and tea enthusiasts rejoice. Smell and sample your way through hundreds of exotic spices and teas from around the world. Our signature blends and rubs are hand-mixed daily to ensure the highest quality and freshness. Talk to our tea experts and learn the wellness benefits of drinking fresh, loose-leaf premium teas. Find a tasteful gift for that special someone or join us for an in-store cooking demo. Find your way to flavor at the Spice and Tea Exchange on the Avenue in Rehoboth Beach. Sister locations in Annapolis, Maryland and Old Town, Alexandria, Virginia. Enjoy an evening of elegance and unmask a child's future at the 10th Annual Boys and Girls Club Masquerade Ball. Dress up and bring your finest mask to the Lighthouse Cove Event Center in Dewey Beach on Saturday, February 24th. Doors open at 6 for live and silent auctions, an open bar, dinner, and dancing. Save the date and help fund scholarships and key initiatives that benefit kids in our community. For more information, call 302-841-9639. Take the DSN app with you wherever you go and never miss a game from your favorite local team. Whether you're on the road, stuck at the office, or out with friends and family, the DSN app notifies you when your team is on live so you can watch the game as it happens or watch videos on demand. Keep up with local sports all from one app. From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV, download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. All right, we talked a lot of the uh, good things and the bad things that we saw with the game on Sunday, but yes. we didn't touch yet on Beyonce. No, we, we kind of avoided the commercials, too, because yeah. there was a commercial in there mm -hmm. uh, with Beyonce, yes. and people were like, is this, is this music? Is this mm -hmm. Beyonce just being Beyonce? Like, right. what are we doing here? And um, it turns out it was. Turns out there's a new album. Yes, Renaissance Part 2. Okay, very nice. Coming out uh, in March, March yes. 12th. March 29th. 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 You're close. There's a <laughs> lot of new really. music to keep track of. There, there is. is a lot of new music yes. to keep track of. Yes, we've got Beyonce in March. We've got Taylor in April. Looking um, forward to both. 
I am too. I think like winter is sort of the dead period for yeah. new music. And then like as everybody kind of starts to crawl out of the hibernation yep. mode, winter blues, we get nicer weather, we get new music, yes. those windows roll down and like we'll, we'll be able to really love life again. <laughs> exactly. I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. The only thing I feel kind of bad about is I was watching that commercial live and then it ended and I didn't even pick up on the fact that it was an album drop until mm -hmm. I saw people talking about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it broke the internet the way she wanted it to. And sure. I feel kind of bad about that. There, I think that the stuff we were talking about earlier, the Kelsey drama, Usher show, overshadowed her album release. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm with you. Sorry, B, but I'm sure her fans are still looking forward to it. Yes. Uh, like I said, I just, I didn't catch on. So that's my fault. That's all right. No, yeah. we'll get you hype for more Beyonce exactly. music. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. I hope something we can dance to. I need some good dancing yes. music. Yeah. Well, and that's what Renaissance, part one now, I guess, mm -hmm. did have some really good dancing yeah. beats. The, you won't break my soul. That was a Ooh, fun Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Good one. All right. Looking forward to it. <laughs> we'll stop singing. Yeah. We will let you go. Uh, go home. Get some sleep. Yes. Get some rest. I know last night was a long night for a lot of us, but uh, not before you check out Coast TV News at 5. That is coming up next, and we'll see you tomorrow.